Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can add products to the cart without duplicating them. Let me show you what I mean. In the previous video, we learned how to add product to the cart and we had a mini cart. So here was the example. If I add uh, this product to the cart, it will display it here and if I add the product again, it will duplicate it. This is not what we want. What we want is it should increase the quantity of this product. Because this is the same product, it should not add a copy of that one, it should increase the quantity. And if you add another product type, it should add another one. So that is an issue here, so I will fix it. You might have noticed this was not done like previously, so I did it behind the scene, the designing. If you don't want me to design anything behind the scene, and if you want me to do every step of the project, let me know below the video and the comments so that I can record video for every step. I just don't want to spend time on designing because designing is easy. I just want to work more on Firebase and Vue.js. So let's just start fixing the issue. Before I fix the issue, I'm going to say this model or this mini cart is not a view component. Let's create a view component for this one. So I will come to my project. Everything is close so that you can understand where should I start. If I come to the uh, source directory here, and I will come to this section here and here is the product list and here is add to cart button so this should be open for now here we will need it and if I come to the component here is add to the cart and this is our add to cart component we will need this one also and if I come to view in the home that view and here is our modal window here this is not what we should do we should create a separate component for this one so what I'm going to do is copy this one or cut it and I will create a component called mini cart for now I will just add it here we don't have this component yet so let's create the one quickly and I'm going to duplicate the hello world as always because this is our base component so it should be mini cart that view and the name should be also the same mini cart and the class for this one should be mini cart you can name it anything. I will save it for now and I will come to the main.js to register our component globally so that we should be able to access this one. I will duplicate the add to cart button here and give it a name which was mini hyphen cart. This is our component name which we use in the home that view and this is going to refer to mini cart that view. If I save it for now, I will come to the home page. I will save this one also and let's come to our application. We refresh everything and let's test if everything is working fine. I will come to the product page here, product section. I will add to the cart. Everything works fine. So now you have a separate component for your mini cart and everything is a lot cleaner. So before we start, let's see what we want here. We want something called product quantity for this one. So we need another field to add for the product quantity. For the first time, that is one, and then it will become two and three. So if I come to add to cart, and here is how you can add that one. You will add another field, and instead of this product ID, you will give it a product quantity. And here is another issue, just notice here. This is the variable we will be able to access in our mini cart, this one. And what refers to this one? This dot call uh, ID. And for now, this is going to be one. I will hard code this one. But sometimes, you know, people have a field here. They have a plus and a minus. The plus can increase the quantity at the same time, and the minus can decrease it. And you can do that one. I might create a video in the future, but for now, we will just hard code it as a one by default. If anyone add a product to the card, it will just add the quantity of one to that one. And you know this is something wrong. We say product ID, this dot ID. This dot ID refer to this one, but we don't have it here. So it cannot be the same at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say product or P ID. This is how it should be done. And I'm going to say P ID, which refers to this one. If it does not make sense, like P is for product and ID. And why I camel case this one? Because this is a props. Whenever you write it down, whenever you write your add to cart component and the props will become like P hyphen ID. And this is the best practice in Vue.js. So that is how you do that one. I will save it for now and I will come to the product list 
and here is what we should write it p hyphen id and it should send the product id for us because we need the product id this is very important we have to have the product id to understand this is a unique product if we have this product do not duplicate it add the quantity to, to this one so that is important we need to have this one so let's start uh, adding it so if i refresh the page here i am just going to show you how everything is working so far so if i come to the view extension here i am going to add a product to the cart and i will see if we have access to the id which is a unique identifier i will come to view x and here is you have to reload it or not here is our object if i open this one here is the product id and this is a unique identifier where you can identify this one in your add to cart function where is the add to cart function so if you do, didn't watch the video i recommend you to watch those previous video but if you are just coming directly here this is a what to cart component and this is a to cart component and it has a function called add to cart and this is going to open our model window and it will commit a function using vuex in our store.js so if i come to my store.js here is our function so what it is going to do is it is going to add our product to the cart here this state so in this before we add it to the cart i am going to add a condition here and what this condition is going to do this condition is going to check if we have this product in the cart or not in this cart if i come here you know this is our cart array if we have this product in our cart array we will identify it using product id do not add it just increase the quantity of that one so if i come and check do you have the quantity here yes the quantity is currently not one and we can display that here also let me show you how you can display that one so you will come to the mini cart and here we have the currency which shows the price and under that one i'm going to duplicate this one so it should show the quantity here and it should have a text of quantity and it should be product quantity and let me just check once again if we have spelled it correctly or not so sometimes i misspell this stuff so i will paste it here yeah quantity oops i think i missed in the previous one so it should be product quantity and this is just a little typo in here i will save it for now and it should work just fine for now and i will save it and let's refresh the page again sometimes you have to refresh so that it should close the model window you know we lose the the items in a cart here so i will fix it in a future video how you can use persistency like currently there is no product after refreshing the page this is not what you want but i will fix that so if i add product to the cart now it is going to show you the quantity as a dollar you know why you know why right because we have used the currency filtering here if i save it for now yes quantity is equal to one so now we have this product to the cart what i'm going to do is i'm going to store that js and i have to call the if condition here if this condition is true what the condition is i'm going to write the condition then add uh, okay add to the cart or if this is not true add to the cart something like that so it should be if and else right the push will always work here so if should be else here if we have the product to the cart do not add it just say state dot cart dot okay not for now i will write it down later so let's write the condition of how you can check if you have the product in your cart so let's create a variable called found and they found what they found is going to do is it is going to return true or false to check if we have the products here so what they found is going to do is and i'm going to write equal sign for now here oops sorry now what you can do is you can uh, do a for each but i have a better solution for this one you know i'm going to show you like you can say is state dot cart dot for each right this is what you have already done maybe for each is going to loop through every product every single item in array if i give you an example of for each 
you will pass your array what is your array it is going to be our state dot cart which is our array and for each of that we have the element so this is how it is going to work and I'm going to do the same thing but I'm not using the for each we have some a function called find in JavaScript we will use that one so here is the example I will remove this one completely and I will come here so I'm going to write a state dot cart dot find find is a function in JavaScript so what you can do is you can say any word any item any let's say I'm going to say product and what this product is going to do this product is going to be copy of each item in your array so for every product what is going to do is it is going to check if the product dot product uh, ID is equal to item dot product ID I'm explaining you how it works so this is going to return true or false if it is going to match what we want so currently what it is going to do is this product is going to be each copy of your product item here which is an array of the products so we will put this one here and as I said it will work the same as for each or the loop and what it is going to do is it is going to take the ID of it and it is going to compare that with the incoming product incoming is when a user add a new product to the cart which is the item and this is the data which we have here that is what we push it to the cart so it is going to take the pro the ID of that one and it is going to compare if we currently have that product this is going to return true so the found should be true and if the if found what we are going to do is we are going to say found dot product quantity is going to be plus plus just plus one to the product quantity so if I save it for now let's give it a try if it works or not oops it should be find instead of fill so if I save it and you will come to our web page here and we refresh everything so if I add a product to the cart it uh, it does not add it here so let's check what is the issue because it check the condition here if it is not found so it should run the else one here which it is not going to run this one so let's debug our code so let's refresh our page just make it a hard reload so it should delete all the data you have here so if once it reload you don't have any data sometimes it just stay here so if I add to the cart yes it does work it add to the cart if I add the same product again yes it is adding the quantity instead of duplicating this one if I add this gold one yes it is going to add another one and if I add one more yes it will increase the quantity of that product instead of duplicating that so that's that's how it is going to work but the price should also change right I think that is easy like you can multiply price with the quantity and it should give you the total price that is what we will do in the mm, future video but for now the video will get longer so I hope it has been informative if you have any question uh, feel free to ask below the video make sure you google it before you ask it and this this is something very important so that's it for this video thank you for watching and one thing I am going to tell you this is I think around 10th video I have recorded for this feature something is going to happen which is wrong I don't know what happens like sometimes the internet connection is lost sometimes the vid the recorder is stopped sometimes something else happened like I forgot to say something so I hope the effort I put for the videos will make you guys happy so I hope it has been informative thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video